Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com, and I want to let you know about an experience of uh, uninstalling a plugin I had on Sony Vegas 9 Pro. The plugin was called uh, DV Film, um, by DV Film, called Epic One, and basically what Epic One is kind of a really neat concept, which I wanted to try out, and it's beta, and this is by no means to be construed as a review. It's not a review. This is a beta product. It's something I've tried and I ran into. I'm not reviewing it at all. But um, basically what it does is it creates these proxy files. It puts it in a subfolder of the folder where you originally had your like T2i, 550D, 70, whatever um, video files, the .mov files. And what it does is it creates a different file that can play in your um, preview window uh, smoothly because if you don't do this it it's very choppy well I was having some crashes more than usual I mean Sony Vegas for me maybe crashes maybe once every two weeks but this is crashing several times a day so for me I said okay it's definitely beta which is you know comes with the territory so I went to uninstall it. when I uninstalled it um, Sony Vegas uh, I, you know I rebooted the machine and I couldn't um, find the .mov files again to import. It wouldn't let me import any .mov files. I couldn't see them in the preview window or anything. And what I did is I said, okay, well, I went to the Sony Vegas site and I noticed there was a, uh, I think it's 9.0D was available and I was on 9.0C, uh, the version for Vegas. So I, downloaded the new version and I had to do it anyway and I tried it again and it still didn't work. I couldn't um, see any of my files. Um, it was always saying, hey, there's the files are missing or corrupt. Um, can't find them. Not the Vegas files, but the actual MOV files. So then I said, okay. Um, I, I went through and looked in my um, system folder. Uh, I'm on Windows 7 the um, program files and there was uh, some DLL still left from the uninstall so it didn't uninstall completely. It's beta so I totally understand that and it also didn't uninstall any of the proxy files which I totally understand but um, what I had to do is totally uninstall Vegas and then reinstall put the serial number back in and all that stuff and then finally um, I was able to get back to where I was working before um, without these proxy files. So just thought I'd share that with you guys if you might run into that to your, run, into, run into that yourself. So uh, all right, there you go. Thanks. Bye.